Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a Zelda like camera system in the Godot game engine. If we look here, we just have a basic player character that can move around, but the camera doesn't follow him at all. Let's fix that. First things first, add a camera. Then we want to have the anchor mode be fixed top left. And then we want to add a script. We're going to call it cam. Then we're going to paste some code here that's going to move the camera around, but don't worry, it's not that complicated and it's pretty simple. This is just for me, so it runs in the editor, and so I can show you guys how it works. This is just available for your screen size, mine's 1920 by 1080. This is just a reference to your player character. And this right here is just a vector two that stores the offset position for the camera at the beginning of the game. Right now the offset would be zero, zero, but if we move the camera around, it would be something else, which we need to calculate it in the movement. This just sets the offset at the start and this updates the camera every single frame. This variable holds the calculation for whatever current cell the player is currently inside of. Does this by taking the player's global position, minusing the offset, and dividing it by the screen size and rounding it down to the most negative infinity number. So 0.5 would be 0 and negative 0.5 would be negative 1. And the reason we want this is because of the fact when the cam when the player is right here, the current cell is zero zero because both the X and Y positions for the player is less than the screen size. So when it's divided, it's less than one, so it's zero. When it's over here, the X is greater than the screen size, so it's like 1.2 or 1.5. So now the camera uh, camera's X is one. And then when we times it by the screen size right here, it would be 1920, which would make it right here. And the reason we need the dot floor to round it to negative infinity is for, if it's negative 0.5, for instance, right here, we don't want it to be rounded going down to zero because it would make the camera stay here. We want it to be negative one, so it goes all over here. So that's why we have the dot floor. So now, if we just go to the camera and make sure we set our player reference to the player and we run the game, I first should show you guys what this actually does. So this just sets the global position to whatever the offset was with plus the calculation for the camera's position by times in the current cell times the screen size. And then if we run this, the camera moves. We can even see it in the editor when we close this and reopen it. Grab the player, Oop. grab the player, and the camera follows. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day. <laughs> I don't know. It's been two years. I don't know what to say to you guys.